Uh, it's a great knot for joining your leader to your braid. So you take your leader and you make a loop and you feed your tag end through the loop twice. And then pull it down till it figure eights on itself. Just like that. Hopefully it focuses properly. And then you take your braid and you feed it through on one side. Then back out through the other. I now normally would pull it and just tighten up that figure eight a little bit so I can feel a drag on the line so this next knot won't pull through. So pull out a comfortable length of your your main line or your braid and then you make a loop like so so that the braid loops around the side your main line or your leader sorry your leader um, you then feed your tag in six times through That's six, and then just pull it down so it starts to come and you know turn into a knot to look up on, on itself. Um, you then get them close. I'd wet this whole bit now, and now you put pressure on it so the knots form um, pretty much you know like against each other, and really just work it. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's not going to slip. And then now all you have to do is uh, cut down your tag ends and the braid I like to always leave about a centimetre. Um, it's just uh, I guess like a habit I have because it will always fray and it, I find if I have it frayed by, by, by a centimetre it never goes in. But the other tag end I go as close as possible. I'd probably normally pull with some pliers to make sure that knot won't move. Uh, before I cut, but that's all up to you. If, you, if you're like, uh, I can't put enough weight on that to pull it apart. I hope that has helped you guys um, with another option. Anyway, get out there, catch more fish.